Hi guys, I'll join you again with another video. This is a game called Hard West and it's played on PC and I will warn you it has some scenes some of you might find upsetting from the offset. The Old West was a hard place. The only thing in abundance was poverty and firearms. Combine alcohol and hopelessness with greed, envy, lust and pride, and death is often the result. Crude cabins stood alone in the wilderness, cut off from the outside world. People knew to mind their own business, but isolated. They grew ignorant and superstitious. Some said the devil walked the earth. Said lost souls haunted and possessed the living, pushing them past the edge of sanity. In this harsh and dangerous country, no one had it easy, including your family. You were six years old when you traveled the Oregon Trail with your mother and father. Food was scarce, and your father, despite being a fine tracker and a crack shot, failed to find any game. It was as if every animal on the trail was spooked by some evil force. Your old man found a small village and tried to trade equipment for food, but this village was overrun by outlaws. They took your mother and decided to trade you and your father to white slavers. But he managed to break free, told you to hide, and set out to save her. So here we have the tutorial as first in a battle it is important to do this because of the story that develops in it that's all I can say don't want to spoil a few people um, I got an easy setting because I'm not the best at turn based games I'm pretty awful at them and uh, so here we go but the game is not just a um, Wild West sort of game it's do a supernatural you know and stuff like that as well which gives a nice little twist to it um and it's very enjoyable and quite immersive when you get into the game i had it in a uh, fanatical bundle it was really cheap and um yeah it's, it's quite enjoyable and so different i think to what i normally play on this channel and i would appreciate any feedback and if you want to see more part of this please let me know it's a bit of a cult classic game for people who play it, you know, and really enjoy it and stuff. As I say, I don't know what I'm doing with it. Like, I don't usually know what I'm doing in any game, so I just, I'm just plodding on through it the best I can and just see what happens.
was nowhere to be found. He saw the box. What was in it? The simple wooden box contained a head, your mother's head. Afterwards, your father found one of the gunmen still alive. The dying man rambled on about some unholy obligation, about promises made by the devil himself and the rewards they would find in hell. You and your father were alive, but all your supplies were destroyed. No way you'd make it to Oregon now. Your father decided to stay put and build a life right there. Many years passed and you grew up. You became a man. So this is the sort of like building phase of the game where you're trying to mine gold, try and build up your fortune and stuff like that. Um, it seems to have two sides to the game, the building side, uh, which again is to do with character development as well, and the battles, which of course come, you know, throughout the game. Um, and this particular video is only like about two battles because it's, you know, it's, I don't want to make it too long, um, but it's still very interesting. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's all right. Um, so you watch closely, you'll see the you know story to be on the supernatural side of it, and uh, <coughs> affects the choices you make as well, because you go this way, that way, whatever you want to do. Um, so it's quite you know, it's a bit like a uh, you know the TV series Supernatural. It's like that they put that into a into a, like a little mini game. It's pretty uh, pretty good you know not so much having the, the brothers fighting the supernatural the but the, the other side of it you know that they're involved in on, in the uh, series it wasn't just desire that she inspired in you it was the way she saw the best in you the way she made you feel
crossroads. Which choice should I make? I should have, I should have uh, this done this as a, a live stream, really, shouldn't I? And uh, and let you make the choices for me. It could have been quite cool, maybe an idea for the future. Um. Yeah, it's yeah, we are. You can see this is the, like what I mean, we're the supernatural side of the game. And uh, it's it's really the world is really it's really cool the way that they've done it. It's really immersive. It really immerses you into the story, and uh, the choices you make are, are important to the eventual outcome of the game. And I pretty much enjoy it quite a bit. I'm not the best at playing it, no, because I'm not at these sort of games. But uh, just so. As you guys know, this channel's got a reputation for sharing games that a lot of you haven't seen before, and uh, so here I am with this game. So I get, I guess, in that a lot of you haven't seen this game before. Um, for people that have enjoyed the Need for Seed battles with me and my son, I've created two more videos that will be coming in the near future. I didn't want to just uh, be bombarding the channel just with them. Because I've had very little feedback so far about them, it's a bit difficult to judge how you guys uh, like them and stuff. So, just sort of playing it by ear for now. But um, the battles are getting more serious now. Uh, I will say that. Uh, in a fun way, you know, it's still good. And. Um, as I said before, every one of my videos, there's also a link to my son's video of his like response to the video before. And what we're planning to do is, if if it's successful enough, so we make say about ten videos or so between us, that we both then have playlists on my channel and on his channel of the full videos, so you can see um, what's happened. You can see it like in a timeline progression, then you know, which would be better than the way it is now. Um, so well, there we are. So this battle, I found it a bit awkward at first because you've got to make your moves and you didn't know where the enemies were at all until after you'd set where you want to be at first. Um, so, you know, just a minor thing, but I, I happened to play this like um, twice. Pretty much up until where this ends, I played it like first time run through just to sort of see what it was like. And I happen to know then from the first time where the enemies are going to come in from, so I've got my defensive positions here now ready for that, you know, because I remember what happened before. And so, here we are, it's simple enough. Place your moves, take your shots, you know, simple uh, turn based uh, enough, even for me. Uh, but I imagine the battles will get more, much more intense as you get further into them, for sure. Um, but um, yeah, it's thoroughly enjoyable, well worth checking out, and I, I don't think the game would cost much, and I do believe there's DLC for it as well, which I haven't got because I had this game through a bundle, but um, yeah, it's alright, so yeah.
So you can see the father's interaction with this mysterious stranger, um, how it shapes her for the future. We'll have to wait and see, but that is going to end up being good for sure. Um, well, there we go. So that's that battle over with. It's game goes on a bit more with like uh, the mining and stuff, and another sort of twist to the tale, so to speak. But um, yeah. It's pretty good. I do like it. I like the supernatural aspect of this a lot. It's it's really well done. It's really clever. I think it's a good idea, and uh, I do like it. I say that I don't say this game is a, an A-rated game. No, it's it's probably an indie game or something. I'm not sure. Really sure the background to it, but it is a good idea the way it's done, and it's very well done with it. I think. This is the inventory side of it. Uh, you've got different, like I suppose, like armor. Then <laughs> you know, um, clothes and stuff, which gives you certain perks. Uh, shows the weapon stats. It's quite interesting, you know, the way it's done. Like the graphic style of the game as well. It's pretty cool. Music is excellent. The narration is excellent. You can't really fault it, really. Uh, I had read there were some glitches with some people playing this game. Uh, basically the later levels so I hope I don't come across that but anyway I'm gonna shoot off now the shoot or oh, bye for now stay safe Florence through a barred window. To get her out, you'd need the key. This same key could also...